Hello there and welcome back to the colony with Man of the Ants. Playing some more some Nautica today and today a couple of things I want to do today. One is I want to take the old sea moth out and we're going to try and get that last life pod we're after which is out by the leviathan so to get there we do need to build a defensive thing again now, indy did point out that he thought i had the required ingredients for that and he was right i do have where is it one hydrochloric acid that was hiding in this locker here we only have two more deep shrooms so we can't build any more so i want to bar to build even the defense module, I'm not really bothered about everything else because I'm not entirely sure it will survive all of this. We need the wiring kit. That's two silver. Oh, we are running low on silver. We're going to get some more silver at some point. That is the last of our silver. So, yes, I want to go and get some more deep shrooms. Why can I not build it? Well, because I haven't actually built the polyaniline have i i've just got the hydrochloric acid what do i need for polyaniline apart from hydrochloric acid of course uh gold why can't i get out there uh hello game game you seem to have broken um oh there we go i've done that weird thing oh my controller's died that's what it is because I keep forgetting to change the batteries in my controller because I'm an idiot. Okay, let's plug it in for now and then afterwards I will definitely, definitely remember to plug, to change the batteries. There we go, right. At least it happened before something crazy happened this time. I don't think we were quite that lucky before, were we? Oh, we picked up two gold bags. I don't know, that's fine, I'll deal with that in a second. So let's build ourselves some polyaniline. And then let's build a perimeter defense system. I think really that is the more important of the things we need. Uh, no, I don't want that, do I? Do I? So I've got silver. No, it's magnetite, isn't it? Uh, put that gold back. We're going to need to drink some water. But I want to keep one of the plus 30s with me, really. So we'll see if we've got... Where's our health? There it is. Yes. Yeah, so, oh, no, it's all disinfected water. Okay, we're going to have to look at getting some fish stocks down here, I think. Uh, what are we doing? Defense system. Boom. Go. Awesome. All right, let's pop up to the old life pod. Where are you, life pod? I also need to move the grav trap, which was a suggestion of Indies. Now, I did read before I built it that it was sensible to build it on the floor for some reason. And then when I put it down, it looked like the only place it would go is on the floor. But that's apparently not the case. So let's grab it. And select it. And let's try putting it somewhere else then. Maybe just sort of in the middle of these two here. Let's just try that. And we'll see how that goes. Okay. Still no, that isn't lit up, is it? No, I'm not being an idiot. Get yet another med kit. I know you want to take well everything from here, really. If we can, which we can. The only thing we really need up here then is the med kit fabricator and the radio. Now the med kit fabricator we're not too bothered about. Oh my god, look how that's doing already, look. Crack a lacking is how that's doing. So I might even need to build a new locker for. Uh... Oh no, I didn't mean to pick that up. Okay, it's my bad. My bad, fish. My bad. We'll try popping that back down again. Right, and this time we will not um, collect it. We can't do anything with those. Can we kill those? I don't think I've tried that before, have I? Where are you? Come here. Come here, you.
Well, I've killed it. Hasn't really done much. Okay. Do I have any normal water on me? Yes. Vital signs stabilizing. So we are going to need to go on a bit more of a bladder fish hunt at some point. We are running a little low on that. Welcome aboard, Captain. Um, no, where's the fabricator? Here. So this one here, I think, would make a good kind of food one. So for now, we'll just do that. That will put in the thingy. We have... That's not where copper goes. Let's go here. Copper goes there. Quartz goes here. A couple of acid mushrooms. I have seen acid mushrooms somewhere before, just not sure where. We've got our health thing over here. For medkits and nutri- what's it full? Ooh, health is full. Secondary health then. Probably gonna have to drink, probably I can drink both of those I would have thought. So we'll keep, should we keep one? No, we'll get rid of the nutrient block. I don't think we need that because we have our um, knife. I don't think that's quite as important. Okay then, right, let's go and whack this rotten Gary fish in here. Just keep that turning over a little bit. And we need to get some food in our cells. One of each, will that do, do we reckon? Not even one of each, is it? It's two boomerangs? Two boomerangs, okay. Oh, well, it's two boomerangs. And then we'll eat, eat, Vital eat. Stabilizing. It's close enough, isn't it? We are going to drink one of these, though. Kind of annoyingly. Okay then, right. So what did I say we want to do? We want to go deep shroom hunting first, I think. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. All systems online. Now deep shrooms, I'm sure were this sort of direction somewhere. Were they past the jelly forest? I think they were, weren't they? I'm not having any flack from you. We do seem something that seems like a bit of a... What are they called? Bladderfish. Bladderfish paradise will stop. So we could do with some more of those. And I think they more are more of a daytime creature. So we'll move on, we'll move on. And what I think this is the right direction? We're quite shallow still, let's take a little look. Yeah, I think so. I think that looks right. Ah, yes. There it is, look, the Jelly, jelly Ray Forest. Ah, and immediately, look, immediately. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency. That is a piece of the Cyclops. <gasps> New blueprint acquired. Oh, I've got the Cyclops blueprint. Holy crap. Okay, that's a whole other ball bank, old ballpark game. You know, the things that you play those sports, sporty, sporty malarks in. Oh, yep, yeah, hello. So we'll repair this once we're out of the forest, though. There's no point in doing it in the forest because I'm liable to smack on something again anyway, yet. Yeah? So we'll make our way out of the forest. And are these deep shrooms? No, they're still acid ones. Okay. Uh, where's my repair tool? Beautiful. Beautiful. What I should have done, actually, what I should have done was I should have repaired this. Um, I should have built a beacon is what I was going to say. I did repair it. I should have built a beacon. And if I did happen to find this 
deep shroom source again. Could have plopped the beacon down on it. So I have tried to find it again since, haven't I? And I did struggle a little bit. So we'll see how we go, I guess. See how we go. Right, so we are now outside of the Jelly Ray Forest. And we're going to rapidly approach. Did I have the additional depth module last time? Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. It looks like I might have done, doesn't it? Damn. Damn. Makes sense, they're called deep shrooms, right? You'd have to go deep for them. Okay, let's just see if we happen to have fluke right across, across some uh, silver or something. Oh no, it's not even a breakable one. Let's be a mineable one for the prawn or something. Dam and blast, okay. Guess that's all, oh, that looks familiar, doesn't it? Yeah, that's it, look, that is it. So it's just to the right of the Jelly Shroom Forest. Okay. Sorry, I just hit the headset in there. Uh... Nope, no, 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 up, up, up. Right, we need to repair this because there are potentially dangerous things around. Things like whatever that was. freaking out over that. Okay, we're going to move on. Definitely looks like the right sort of place, but I can't seem to see any of the deep shrooms. Not those, it is those. Okay, excellent. We're gonna ignore the fact that there's a one of them on the go. And what I will do, possibly, and Brent did have this suggestion of um, planting some exterior grow boxes. with various things to keep me going. And using what I don't use to feed the... Um... Don't touch it! Don't touch it! Don't send it deeper! Don't send it deeper! Don't send it deeper! Oh my god, it's so close. Okay. We're okay. We're okay. So we definitely did have the other depth module last time. That's something to bear in mind. So from here... What are we looking at from there? Um, about there? That sort of angle, right? No, the other way. So roughly northeast. A little to the left of northeast should take us there from the... from the homestead. Which I appear to have lost. There it is. Perfect. Right, so let's go back. So we now have enough deep mushrooms to hopefully do some stuff with. 
So we'll get some exterior grow beds built. We will get annoyed at the performance and wonder if I started Steam VR first and decide that I probably didn't. I get annoyed that that's even a thing we need to worry about. Oh my god, what's that? Also, oh, no stupid. Okay, sod it. Sod that. Whatever it was that was scannable isn't worth it. We can also see what the Cyclops is going to take to build. I think it's going to take a bit more than we we have on us. One of the things I did read, and I didn't deliberately go looking for um, kind of spoilerish things, but one of the things I read. Efficiency decreased. Was if you have the Cyclops and you oh I can't pick anything up, can I? And you turn off the engine and your lights and you just kind of drift, the Leviathans won't attack you. Which is super, super interesting. He did not just oh there it's gone. I thought for a second he destroyed it. So that's a good reason to get the Cyclops built sooner rather than later. We can, of course, stick the Seamoth in it as well. But it's probably worth looking to get the Prawn Suit fairly soon after we get the Cyclops. Do we need multiple Moon Bays? Like one for each craft? That's interesting. Ooh, Super Base. Super Base. I say Super Base, mine looks like absolute dog shit compared to most people's, but still, you know, Super Base. So let's go and well let's drop this off Welcome aboard, Captain. let's grab the oh we can't grab it let's build no we can't even build the hydrochloric acid can we let's just dump a bunch of these mushrooms in here and then we'll just call this deep i think and then we will grab our tool What is that? Cyclops engine efficiency. Okay, well that'd be useful when we do get it, I guess. And then we're going to see what it... Oh, I suppose we could just stay here. No point in going... Oh, freaks the game out a bit there. I think I'm underwater. Uh, exterior grow beds. Just needs two titanium. Just needs two titanium. Let's grab... A whole bunch of titanium. Then let's build some exterior grow beds. So they're relatively large. I could put a couple on like along the edge of here. I quite like that idea actually. Make use of these foundations now that they are there. Come on now, where are you? There you are. And how does this, this work? Farming alien plants is a proven survival strategy. Craig McGill survived 47 months on a healthy, raw salad of live tree roaches and stag root. But just fill it with them because they're already there. So what purpose does that serve? If I like half fill it. How close would we be in half filled there? We were smack on it. So if I like half fill it, will it grow more next to them? Is that how it's going to work? Don't know. Let's make another grow bed while we're here. And we'll sort of half fill this one if we've got enough. 
if we do just the bow. So we'll do that and we'll see what happens. They're both half filled and we'll see if they grow some more. Otherwise, I've slightly misunderstood how you really grow things. Oh, right. Now, while we're here, while we're here. Oh, something's gone wrong. Something's gone wrong. Never works the first time. Cyclops. Plasteel ingots. Don't have those. Enameled glass we can get. It's only really the plasteel ingots that we need to worry about. I'm pretty sure we don't have that at the moment. Let's find out. So it's not new things, is it? It's just, yeah. Silicone rubber. Plasteel ingot. Titanium and lithium. We could build a Cyclops. We could build a Cyclops. How, in fact, could we? How many? Right. Let's have a good look at this now. Now that it's actually becoming plausible. Three plasteel ingots, three enameled glass. And it needed titanium and two lithium. Ah, we do not have enough titanium for it, for starters. We do have enough lithium. Okay. Well, that's interesting. So we could, could plausibly start that at some point. I have one more deep shim, deep shim mushroom. What do we need to make polyaniline? Uh, hydrochloric acid. Salt. Three of those and salt. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Still look on odd two left over. Do I have any salt? I guess is the other question though. Oh yeah, I've got some. So we'll just grab a whole bunch and a diamond I don't need. And let's start making some of this, even if we're not going to use it immediately. We are going to need it. And the polyaniline is gold. How much gold do I have? I've got a fair bit of gold, but I'm going to need to get some more... Definitely too much. Some more silver on the other hand. So I do need an advanced wiring kit, which is, oh, it's gold. Oh no, I need a wiring kit, so I do need that. And a computer chip. Do I have a computer chip? I do. So that's all doable. So weirdly, it's mainly the titanium that seems to be the problem for us. Who knew? Right. So we'll put all of this in here. I know I could, could look at building the depth module and everything now, but there is a good chance I'm just going to blow up this Cyclops as well. So I'm not going to do that quite yet. So we need to eat and everything like that. If I pull out three of those, or let's go and check our grav trap, actually, see if we've got any fish on that. Oh, oh, it is there, okay. No, we don't, apparently. Why not, fish? Do you not like my grav trap? Does it not appeal to you in some way? Is it because it only just spawned back in, perhaps? Perhaps that is it. Can't see any bladder fish, can we, while we're here? No, they do like to hide from me, don't they? Okay, we've got enough fish for the moment, so we won't worry about it too much. Why is there music playing? Ah, let's call this one... Food. 
similar to health, but a little different. We are running a little low on fish, actually, aren't we? I'm not going to need all of these, I don't think. We'll just do two to start. Oh, that'll do, yeah. And then that. Oh, then we are almost dead as well. <laughs> Forgot about that. Tee ourselves up. Oh my god, no, I just ate those fish. Well, we are out of fish, so that's something for us to worry about at some point. Now, uh, we need to use another health kit. We need to take another health kit with us. And that's probably good, isn't it? Right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to jump in our Seamoth. We are going to heal our Seamoth. Repair. Heal isn't the right word. We are going to have another go. I'm looking for this last life pod, which is southeast of the stern section. Now what I'm going to do, a little differently from last time, so if I just head southeast from here pretty much, that's going to be it, yeah? Yeah. I'm going to hug the sea floor. I'm going to get out because there's bladder fish. Just to hit myself with my own ship. Still don't have our self-sustaining water creation method. So for now... Where'd you go? Where'd you go? But now it's all about these bladder fish. Which I have hinted a couple of times, I thought might be nocturnal. And they have now spat in my face with their defiance. Any others around? I'll take more. I'll take more if they're around. A little bit of a Billy Big Mouth down there. We'll keep out of his way, shall we? Seems we already run ourselves over with our ship. Let's not take any more unnecessary damage. I suppose I could, in fact, just take other normal fish as well, really. But let's stick with the... Oh, if you're going to be there, right as I say that, peeps, I'm going to grab you. I thought I saw one. Oh, there's a cool couple over here, look. This is good. I like a nice bladder fish find. We tapped it out a little bit. How are we doing? We're pretty full of bladder fish. I might just grab a couple of other sleepy little fish. We just, in fact, what we'll do is just fill out. We're close enough now, might as well just fill our inventory up with fish. Pop back to the base and then have a crack at this afterwards. Although we are at half hour, pretty much. Well, a little bit of space left. Okay, okay. If I could just stick like a grav trap on the outside of my ship, I don't see why that isn't possible. Something that needs to be scanned. I miss that. As I do tend to when I'm just grabbing things. Oh, there's some uh, some interesting ones now. Oh, is this a scanner? No. No, it's not. Hover fish there, they will grab those if we've got room. We don't, okay, excellent. So we'll pop back to the base then, since we are pretty close. We'll offload all of this stuff. Oh my god, wasn't paying any attention to my airflow at all. Ooh, 
Yeah, we're super, super close. And then we'll run off and we'll have a look, see if we can find this bit. And if we can't, then we'll... I uh, don't know what we'll do about that, actually. I don't know what we'll do about that. And then I think next time, I think we'll try and work towards getting the bits we need for the Cyclops. Because that's exciting. Welcome aboard, Captain. Into the food tank goes all of this food. Not going to fit, is it? Nope. Well, that's fine, because the rest of these bladder fish I'll turn into water and I'll take it and put it in the health one. I wonder if I could fit another locker in there. I probably could, couldn't I? Do I not have... I have one other fish on me. Take one of those bladders out. Put that little dude in. And turn that into water. Sweet. Right. Let's drop all this into health box. Which I'm going to need to move, I think. It's a bit silly of being down there. Health box is full. Health box is full. Okay, we can drink that one. We do need a little bit of water, so that's fine. Right. Let's do it again. It's also just coming into morning, which is quite nice. Let's make sure we're heading in roughly the right direction. It's a little bit of titanium around, so yeah, for next time we come out and do a bit of a titanium hunt. So we're going to need another 30 bits of titanium. We want to stay close to the sea floor. Distance is going to be a little difficult to judge, but we kind of remember that picture a bit, don't we? I don't know if you do, I do. The kind of slightly curved looking rock landscape. That's what I remember seeing. And that is the sound of a leviathan. He's around here somewhere. Ooh, chests and all sorts down here, look. <laughs> Okay, one attack survived. Wonder if it doesn't work on the electric ones. Wonder if that's the problem. Wonder if they're just a little bit inured to it. Lots of chests around here to get though, isn't there? So we're not quite deep enough at the moment. Here we go. Oh my god, you just plunge off into nothingness over there. Oh, silly. Wasn't even a leviathan, just one of those things. So I don't imagine it'd be all that far from here. What the hell is that? We are at 2,000 meters now. How's that feel, idiot? Hmm. We have this kind of very crappy landscape to deal with, don't we, unfortunately? Yeah, I don't think it's going to be much further down. What is that? 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. A propulsion cannon, okay. 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency Grab this titanium whilst we're here. And then we'll go back to the thing, we'll take another look at the picture, see if it spares our memory at all.
And it's going to be hard to pick out of this nightmarish hellscape. Oh, lots of titanium, though. Lots of titanium. I'm happy with that. My inventory's full, but we could scan that, um, that rock. Interestingly, didn't know that was really an option. Let's head back here and we'll take a look at our PDA. So I can hear the Leviathan around somewhere as well. Welcome aboard, Captain. Data bank, data downloads, codes and clues. Uh, last, ava uh, last available photographic data. It's just blue, which is confusing to me. But look at these kind of, kind of carved spires. Crew reported problems with their onboard fabric sunk to 200 meters in an area of low ecological activity. Well, this is an area of low ecological activity. Transmission origin approximately one kilometer southwest. West. Southwest. Crap-a-doodles. That was, um, poorly timed. Shizzle. Shizzle, 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 shizzle. Where is it? Oh, I'm going to get space have I? Crap. Right. We need to take a look outside what we need to do here. Ah, damn it. Damn it, why did no one correct me at all on that? We're very near the stern section. We are very near the stern section. So we just head southwest and hope for the best. And that's going to be the plan here. Cannot be too far away. It's definitely an area of low ecological activity, isn't it? A couple of rubies around here. It's nice to know there's another source for those. Ah, that's it. That's it. Somewhere around here. Somewhere around here. Because that photo is exactly the same. Well, they're all quite similar, I guess, aren't they? Damn, it's around here somewhere. I know it's around here somewhere. Just need to try and track it down. Okay, let's head in this direction a little bit. Oh, we're quite damaged. Didn't realize how damaged we were. Let's tuck ourselves in here.
What is that? That's scannable. Ice stalk. Okay. I don't think it's going to be further down there because we're already at 240 meters. It's got to be around here somewhere. How frustrating, we can't quite place it. Hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be around here somewhere, but yeah, I'm gonna have to call this a day in a minute, I think. And if anyone has any advice on finding this, I guess what we'll do is we'll just take one last look at the PDA. Two, three. Yeah, lots of spires. One of those things up there, so we're definitely in the right area. That that proves that. On the edge of a cliff, it looks like maybe. And yeah, where where these spires are? Somewhere. And we're getting back into the red now, which I don't think is in the red waters. Hmm. Hmm, he says. Hmm. No, okay. All right. All right. I'm just aimlessly floating around now, hoping I just somehow come across it. It's a little frustrating, but there we go. I don't think it's in this sort of area. This doesn't look right, does it? It doesn't look low ecological area particularly. And then we're back off the edge of that cliff section again, so it's not down there. All right, then time to head, start heading towards back towards the base then, I guess. Although this looks a bit promising. This looks a little bit promising. It's even night time again now. Oh, hello, there it is. Hello, hello, hello. Right. Non-functioning microscope that we don't really want. We're going to have to drop at least one of these titaniums. We need to drop four. It's a cap. We want all this crappy sort of stuff. Whatever this is. Unusual doll. Okay. I've tried everything. The analysis circuits on the fabricator are fried. We can barely manufacture the most basic of materials. Want a battery? Here, have a children's toy. Need deep sea diving equipment? Have some lab tech. Hungry? I'll turn that fruit into dust for you. I'm going forward with trial and error. I hit every button here, it's got to make something useful eventually. That sounds like a foolproof plan, mate, that. So what else do we have around here? Normally a couple of things, isn't there? Maybe there isn't this time. That's just quartz. Well, 
Or well, maybe that is just it then. Maybe that is just it. I just hit my own. What are you? Reginald. Well, I've obviously found you because you don't seem to be scannable. Got that seems to be Life Pod 7. Got me. I was hoping for a little bit more. I don't know what I was hoping for, but a little bit more of something. After all the time it took us to find the sodden thing. But all right then. You. Time to leave that there then. Cool, cool, cool. Well, I'm just going to head back to the base. I'm going to drop off all this titanium and stuff that we've got. Put the toy car on my desk. Where the hell is my base? There it is. Hope I don't get blown up on the way is the plan. Hope I don't get blown up on the way. As I'm making my way there, I will say my goodbyes then. So, that is the end of this video. Hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, please do click the like button. It's genuinely very much appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And of course, any questions or comments, anything like that, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I see them. Don't forget, we're streaming Wednesdays at 6 p.m. So come along and say hello there. Otherwise, I will see you next time in Subnautica. And as always, thank you very, very much for joining me.